Good day and welcome student. Our lesson for today is about radio waves transmission and receiving activities. Before we proceed, here are the objectives of the lesson. At the end of the lesson, the student should be able to explain how radio wave transmission occur, distinguish between AM and FM radio frequencies, identify factors affecting radio waves transmission, realize the importance of radio wave transmission to real life activities and processes. Now, let's define the meaning of some words. Analog, relating to a continuous measurement or transmission of signal. Bandwidth, it is the difference between the upper and lower frequency of a signal generated. Wavelength is simply the length of one complete wave cycle. Amplitude refers to the maximum amount of displacement of a particle on the medium from its rest position. Frequency refers to the number of cycles occurring per second. Kilohertz is a unit of measure in frequency for statements of AM radio station signals. Megahertz is a unit of measure in amplitude for statements of FM radio station signals. Ionosphere The ionized part of the Earth's atmosphere where the radio waves bounce back and forth. What is radio wave? Radio waves are a type of electromagnetic radiation that has the longest wavelength ranging from thousands of meters to 30 centimeters, but has the lowest frequency of 30 kilohertz as well as lowest energy. It is also generally used in radio and television communication system. It travels through the thin air in a straight line reflected by the clouds bounced back and forth in the ionosphere and relayed by satellite in space. So how radio wave was discovered? James Clerk Maxwell is a Scottish physicist who discovered radio waves and also developed the theory of electromagnetism in 1870s. Another person who contributed to the discovery of the radio wave is Heinrich Hertz, a German physicist who applied Maxwell's theory to the production and reception of radio wave. Additionally, did you know that Hertz just used a simple homemade tools including an induction coil and a Leyden jar to create electromagnetic waves? And from this, he became the first person to transmit and receive controlled radio waves. The hertz, which is the unit of frequency or the number of wave cycle per second, was named after Heinrich Hertz. What is a radio? A radio is a box filled with electronic components first developed in the late 19th century that catches radio waves sailing through the air. It works by converting a specific wavelength into vibrations, generating sound from the speakers. The radio has two types, the analog radio and digital radio. But from this lesson, we are going to focus on analog radio. What is analog radio? It is a radio that is used for recording analog signals, information, which includes audio frequency and audio amplitude transmission of radio waves. It works by picking up the audio signals from the transmission site along radio frequency waves known as carriers. This allows listeners to tune into analog station and AM and FM frequencies. How radio receives and transmits radio waves. 
Radio frequency are picked up by the radio set through the air that the waves travel in. The receiver will receive the available signals while you tune it and scan through the station. The radio will then interpret the signals and demodulate them. Finally, the receiver will amplify the sound it received through either the speaker or headphone socket. That's how the radio receive and transmit radio waves. Radio waves can be transmitted into two forms, either AM or FM frequency. AM stands for amplitude modulation. Its first successful method of audio transmission was carried out in the mid-1870s. AM works by modulating or varying the amplitude of the signal or the carrier transmitted according to the information being sent while frequency remains constant. Its frequency range from 535 to 1705 kilohertz. What are the pros or advantages and the cons or the disadvantages of amplitude modulation transmission? As for the pros, it has a lower bandwidth so it can have more station available in any frequency range. It can also be transmitted over long distance. And for the cons, it has poorer sound quality compared with FM. Another mode of transmission is FM. FM stands for Frequency Modulation. It was developed in the United States in the 1930s mainly by Edwin Armstrong. It works by which information or sound is encoded by varying the frequency of the wave and amplitude is constant. Its frequency range in a higher spectrum from 88 to 108 MHz. The same way as AM transmission, the FM transmission has also pros and cons. For the pros, it is less prone to interference or unwanted frequency signal disruption, for example, a transmitter or electrical equipment nearby. It also has better sound quality due to higher bandwidth. And for the cons, the FM signal are impacted by physical barriers such as tall trees, buildings, and mountains. What are the factors affecting the successful transmission and reception of radio wave? Interference. It is inevitable and wanted signal disruption takes place during the propagation of radio wave. It can prevent reception, causes temporary loss of signal, or affect the quality of sound. There are different types of interference. One is electrical interference. It depends on the proximity of the electrically plugged in devices such as refrigerator, microwave, television, computer, rice cooker, washing machine, fluorescent light, thermostat, lamp dinners, blenders, vacuum cleaner, to the radio. Another is transmitter interference. Shielding caused by the presence of different types of antennas and antenna towers. Physical object interference. The physical structures such as trees, tall walls, buildings, mountains that can weaken or at a time completely prevent signal reception. And lastly, environmental interference. Weather conditions such as lightning that can weaken signal as they pass through. Why radio wave transmission and reception is important in our daily life processes. It serves as the building block of broadcasting technology for both radio and television media. It makes wireless communication and information distribution worldwide easier and faster. It conveys information into different forms such as sounds, pictures, and digital data through a variety of new gadgets and technologies. It offers a wide array of possibilities.
That's all for today. I hope you learned a lot. Thank you for listening. Keep safe. God bless.